Hello, IPE 400. This is week six out of 10 in our class. And this week we are going to fine tune our class wiki. We have a lot of work to do, so <laughs> we need to go over this um, because we have seven days to get, well, five to get this done. So if you see me look off the screen like that, that's because I have our wiki in front of me so I can make sure I'm giving you accurate details. So we have four parts four, one, two, three, four, five, five parts to our class wiki. Um, part one is where we investigate the me and you of interprofessionalism. The me is each of us identifying our role. If you haven't done this, all of you have, but I have put in some red uh, feedback for everyone. I contributed my own role, so you can use that as a guide. Look at the specificity I gave. So I have my name in the table, my role, I gave every single thing that I think I would contribute as a laboratory scientist to Meredith. And then I put my setting is a hospital laboratory. I want each of you to specifically say what you would do to care for Meredith. Even skills, like I would take her blood pressure, I would um, check her vitals, I would, anything that you would do. And then what setting you're in. We predominantly have RN students in this in this class. So I don't want anyone to have the same role in the same place. So if you see another RN student um, who has a role very similar to you, you need to distinguish yourself from that person. So maybe you're on a different unit, providing a different kind of care for Meredith. You provided care at a different part of Meredith's case. Maybe you provided cancer care while someone else is providing post-op care. Or you're on a different shift. Someone's providing day care in post-op like PACU and someone's providing her night care. You just have to be different somehow so be as specific as possible so I can tell you've worked that out. The you part of that is as we read each other's contributions we're learning about other people's contributions to healthcare. Okay part two is also a you segment where we learn about other people's contributions to healthcare by identifying professional roles that are not anyone in our group. We have 31 other healthcare professionals right now. I want us to narrow that down to two. Okay? Um, I am going to give you guys a couple days to figure out which two you want and if it seems like the communication is a little bit strained I might assign this to a specific person in our class but I really would like this to be a class to distinguish um, which two we think we want to keep. All of the other 29 we're going to delete because we don't want our wiki to look too jumbled. Okay, So let's pick two that we think fit in with those, the, the eight of us. The eight of us would somehow communicate with these other two people in some way. They fit in with our group. Does that make sense? Okay, part three is the patient. A new part of interprofessionalism that's part of our interprofessional competencies in the 2016 update for interprofessional competencies they addressed the patient as part of the interprofessional team. The patient has often been overlooked and not considered part of a team when they really are. In addition to us having a patient named Meredith, she's also an RN so that was thrown in on purpose. How is she part of her care? We know she knows what's going on. We know that she's gonna ask very pertinent questions. We know that she's gonna have feelings and um, maybe even beliefs about how her care should be going. So let's address who communicates with Meredith. Who talks to her? Who addresses her questions? Does she have a right to overrule any of us? on her specific care. Uh, so let's, let's contribute those ideas. I think all of the nurses in our class have something to say about that. Um, EMS, not as much. Myself, not as much. She's probably not gonna call the lab and say don't run this test or that test. Um, but anyone who has hands-on care with her has a lot of communication with her and should talk about how they think they would communicate with Meredith. And then the very last um, two parts are overlap and communication. 
I want us to address any professional overlap. Um, I'm going to go in and put a few ideas there to start to get us started, but it might be that we want to write a story, like Meredith would see a particular person first who provides a particular kind of care. They then communicate with someone else who takes over and picks up that kind of care. That might be the best way to tell this story. I want us all to be in the wiki for the next couple of days. On Wednesday, I'm going to see how we're doing. And I'm going to provide some very clear guidance and send out another announcement on what we need to do to finalize this up for Friday. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I am here for you. This is a big assignment, but this is a, a big heart of interprofessionalism. And it is a really cool way to get you guys to consider some things that some professionals never think about. So I'm really excited to see what you come up with. And uh, please feel free to reach out if you need any aid. Uh, look at those red marks. I've already put in some red comments so people can kind of be adding more specificity. And um, I'm here if you need me. So happy learning, everyone.